All right, let's jump right in. We're going to talk about a huge contradiction, a paradox, really, that's sitting right at the heart of global business. It's a story about the world's most powerful software and the millions, and I mean millions, of hours people spend manually fighting with it. But more importantly, we're going to talk about how to turn that frustration into a multi-million dollar win. Okay, to really get this, we have to start with a number, and it's a big one, 87%. Just let that sink in. According to McKinsey, that's how much of all global commerce runs through an SAP system. Almost nine out of every $10 changing hands anywhere in the world touches SAP. It's, it's literally the backbone of the global economy. No exaggeration. But here's where the paradox kicks in. So you've got this incredibly powerful system, right? And inside of it, you've got highly skilled, expensive people doing, well, this. A 2023 report from Ernst & Young found that category managers, we're talking strategic thinkers here, are spending 30 hours a week, almost a full-time job, just copying and pasting data. Between SAP, Salesforce, spreadsheets, you name it, 30 hours. So you gotta ask, right? What is wrong with this picture? We have this super sophisticated, world-class business software, and yet we're wasting millions of hours on work that honestly feels like it's straight out of 1995. And look, this isn't a knock on the people doing the work. This is an architecture problem, plain and simple. And that's what we're calling the great SAP paradox. See, companies know they need to automate this stuff, this manual, soul-crushing work. Everyone wants it gone. The pressure from the top is immense. But the problem is, the way they've been trying to do it, it just hasn't been working. So let's get right to the heart of it. Why? Why do so many of these automation projects actually fail? I mean, everyone agrees on the goal, right? But the road to get there is just littered with broken promises and projects that get abandoned halfway through. And look, this isn't just a gut feeling. The data is actually kind of shocking. Remember all that hype around robotic process automation, RPA? You know, the promise that these bots were going to solve everything? Well, the reality, according to Ernst & Young, is that somewhere between 30 and 50%, that's almost half, of all RPA projects completely fail. Just poof, gone. And a whole lot of the ones that technically work, they get stuck in pilot purgatory, never actually scaling up to deliver any real value. And this really gets to the core of the expectation versus reality problem. The sales pitch, the expectation, is always this beautiful, seamless, push-button automation. But the reality for most companies? It's a nightmare of costly maintenance. These automations are constantly breaking, especially whenever SAP pushes an update to its interface. And the IT teams get stuck in this endless cycle of rebuilding the same things over and over and over again. So, when you really dig in, this whole mess boils down to three big challenges. First, traditional automation is just brittle. You change one little thing in the UI and boom, it breaks. Second, it creates these massive IT bottlenecks because the business folks, the ones who actually know the process, can't build the automations themselves. They have to get in line for IT. And third, real work doesn't happen in just one system, right? It jumps between SAP, Salesforce, email, you name it. And most of these old tools just can't handle that kind of complexity. Okay, so that's the problem. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be this way. Let's talk about a new blueprint for automation, one that actually works because it's designed for the messy reality of how modern companies operate. And look, this isn't just about buying some fancy new tool. It's a whole strategic shift in how you think about automation. A successful blueprint, one that's built to last, has five critical criteria. Number one, it has to be resilient to UI changes. Number two, it puts the power to create in the hands of the business experts, not just developers. Three, it has to orchestrate the entire process across systems, not just one tiny task. Four, it uses a smart, dual approach to automation. And finally, number five, it's all wrapped up in solid enterprise-grade governance so things don't get out of control. Now, that fourth point, the dual approach, is absolutely key. Think of it like this. You've got two tools in your toolbox. You've got API automation, which is super fast and stable. That's perfect for your standard high-volume stuff. But what about all those older systems or custom screens that don't have an API? Well, for those, you need flexible UI automation that can act just like a human. The magic is when a platform can intelligently use the best tool for the job and even switch between them in the same process. So when you get this blueprint right, man, the results are just staggering. Let's stop talking theory and start talking about the real multi-million dollar payoff that companies are seeing right now. Okay, let's take supplier onboarding. You know, a process that's usually full of manual data entry, back and forth emails, and tons of potential for errors. One company automated it and saved 
get this, 930,000 euros in one year. And the craziest part? The project paid for itself in just over a month. Or how about invoice processing? We all know that's a huge time sink in any big company. By automating that, another company saved 2.3 million euros annually. And the payback time on that investment? An incredible three weeks. Even super complex things like master data management saw these massive returns. We're talking 2.4 million euros in annual savings. But it wasn't even just about the money on this one. It freed up 80% of a category manager's time. Imagine that. They could finally focus on strategy instead of just being data entry clerks. And one more, order management. This is a big one because one little mistake here can cause chaos down the entire supply chain. By slashing manual errors and processing time, another company pocketed nearly 2 million euros every single year. So let's be clear. These aren't just little efficiency gains we're talking about. These are multi-million dollar savings unlocked from core everyday business processes. This is what happens when you move from that old, brittle way of thinking to a smarter, more resilient approach. Okay, so the big question is, how do you actually get there? Well, the path to success isn't some massive, scary, multi-year project. It's actually a pretty clear, phased framework that's designed to get you value fast. It all starts with a quick discovery phase. You find the process with the biggest bang for your buck. Then, you build a small pilot, maybe in just a few weeks, to prove the value and get everyone excited. Once that's a win, you empower your business teams, the real experts, to scale it up, all with IT making sure it's secure and governed. And from there, you expand across the whole organization and build a real center of excellence. Okay, if you remember only one thing from this whole explainer, please make it this term, UI change resilience. This is the absolute secret sauce. It means having technology that understands the business logic, like save the sales order, instead of just remembering click the button at pixel coordinate 450 by 800. So when SAP inevitably updates its screens, your automation doesn't break. It just keeps working. Because without that resilience, you end up right back where you started. You end up investing a ton of money into automation that, instead of being this amazing productivity multiplier, just becomes a constant expensive headache for your IT team. So that really leaves us with one final crucial question you should be asking inside your own organization. Is your automation strategy built to last? Is it designed to survive updates, migrations, and all the changes that are definitely coming? Or is it built on a brittle foundation, just waiting for the next little update to completely fall apart?